Welcome to RK Tutorials. Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set to 2.6 and problem number 2.96. A prismatic bar AB of weight Q and length L is hinged at A and supported at B by an elastic spring that passes over a pulley C. The spring is fixed at the other end D as shown in the figure. The distance between the hinge A and the pulley C is equal to the length L of the bar AB. The stiffness of the spring is K and the spring is unstretched when the bar AB is horizontal. Find the configuration of equilibrium of the system as defined by the angle alpha which the bar makes the horizontal as shown in figure in terms of Q, K, comma L. That means there is a spring. One end of the spring is fixed here. Another end of the spring is passes over the pulley C. And there is a prismatic bar AB. Initial position of the prismatic bar AB is like this. This is the initial position of AB. In that position, the spring is not deformed at all. The weight Q is acting here. Now what happens? The B was displayed from this point to this point. It is fell down from this point to this point. That means the spring is elongated from this point to this point. Now, there is a spring force acts at this, in this direction of the magnitude K into this deflection. How much is the deflection is the aim of the problem. Now for that, let us do a small uh, uh, construction here. This is the initial position of the bar. This is the initial position of the bar. Now this angle makes an angle alpha. That means the prismatic bar AB is get deflected by an angle alpha. Now let us construct a perpendicular bisector AF. That means since it is a perpendicular bisector, this angle is equals to this angle that is alpha by 2 alpha by 2 and this distance is equals to this distance that means cf is equal to fb and these two angles are alpha by 2 alpha by 2 and since it is a perpendicular bisector this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is also equals to 90 degrees so how much this angle alpha by 2 and this angle is also equals to alpha by 2 now since this is the right angle and this is alpha by 2. This angle 90 minus alpha by 2. Now, since AF is a perpendicular bisector, as already we discussed, CF is equal to FB. Now, we will con consider the right angle triangle AFB. This is the right angle triangle I am talking about. AFB right angle triangle. AFB right angle triangle. From this, I know the value of AB is L. And I know this angle is 90 minus alpha by 2. And I know this is perpendicular. This angle is alpha by 2, I know. Hence, sin alpha by 2 is equal to Fb by L. Opposite side divided by the hypotenuse that is Fb by L. Or you can say, I can find the value of Fb, which is nothing but the value of Cf. Cf, in fact, this I am considering as C. So, Fb is equal to Cf is equal to L into sin alpha by 2. Hence, the elongation, the total elongation of the spring is Cb. Cb is nothing but 2 times of Fb, that is 2L into sin alpha by 2. That means, spring is got elongated by a distance of 2L sin alpha by 2. Hence, how much is the spring force? Spring force acts in this direction. That is the stiffness into elongation. Elongation is 2L into sin alpha by 2. Hence the spring force S is equal to K into 2L into sin alpha by 2. Now let us consider the free body diagram of the prismatic bar AB. The various forces of course the self weight Q is acting here. And there is a spring force. Yes. This spring force makes an angle 90 minus alpha by 2. 90 minus alpha by 2 with the prismatic bar AB as we discussed in the previous slide. Hence that yes, I can resolve into two components. One component is 
along the prismatic bar AB that is S cos 90 minus alpha by 2 and perpendicular to the bar that is S into sin 90 minus alpha by 2. So, this is perpendicular now. Now, at A, there are two reactions will develop and of course, these two reactions we are not considering because we are going to take the moments about point A. Now, if you take the moments about point A, this force, this force and S cos 90 minus alpha by 2, all three forces are passing through the point A. Hence, no moment will be produced by these two forces. Only moments will be created by Q and S sin 90 minus alpha by 2. Q will introduce a moment in the counterclockwise direction. S into sin 90 minus alpha by 2 will introduce a moment in the clockwise direction. Next, I required the distances. So, the perpendicular distance between S sin 90 minus alpha by 2 and A, this is the perpendicular distance, you know that distance is L, we know very well. So, what else we required? The line of action of Q is this much and I required this distance. For that, this distance is, this is the center of gravity, hence this distance is L by 2 and this angle is alpha. So, this distance must be equal to L by 2 into cos alpha. So, I know the distances and I know the directions. Hence, I can apply the moments about point A. So, if you consider the moment, sigma MBA is equal to 0. That means Q into the perpendicular distance L by 2 cos alpha is equal to S sin 90 minus alpha by 2 into L. S sin 90 minus alpha by 2 into L. Now, the spring force S is nothing but k into 2L into sin alpha by 2. This is what we derived from the previous slide. S is the spring force and the spring force is k into 2L into sin alpha by 2 into sin 90 minus alpha by 2 is cos alpha by 2. So, further you can simplify this one. So, you will get an equation like this and after simplification, you will get an equation sin alpha by cos alpha is equal to QL by 2KL square or tan alpha is equal to Q by 2KL. This is the answer for the given problem.